हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो ऑन पावर्स पार्ट वन इज ब्रॉट टू यू बाई एग्जाम फ्योर डॉट कॉम नो मोर फ्योर फ्रॉम एग्जाम टॉपिक्स टू बी कवर्ड इन दिस लेसन आर इंट्रोडक्शन पावर्स विथ निगेटिव एक्सपोनेंट्स एक्सपैंडिंग डेसिमल नंबर्स लॉज ऑफ एक्सपोनेंट्स स्मॉलर नंबर्स इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म कंपेयरिंग वेरी लार्ज एंड वेरी स्मॉल नंबर्स Let's say if I ask you how far is your school from your home. So the distance between your home and your school might be a smaller number, maybe somewhere around fifteen kilometers. Even if we consider that the school is not very near to your place, so fifteen is not a very big number. So it can be very conveniently represented like this: fifteen kilometers. Now, if we ask you the distance between your city and another city. So let's say the distance between Bangalore and Delhi. So if you compare the distance between these two cities, the number increases. So it might be somewhere around seventeen hundred kilometers. So again, seventeen hundred is definitely a bigger number than fifteen, but still it is like quite okay to be conveniently represented. So this is also fine. Now, if I ask you, what is the distance between your country and Let's say any other country. For example, we say distance between India and South America. So, if you talk about this distance, it might be somewhere around fourteen thousand nine hundred fifty-three kilometers. So, you see, gradually as the distance is increasing, the numbers are also increasing. Now, if I ask you the distance between your planet and the sun, so distance between Earth and sun, what's that distance? So, it is somewhere around one fifty. T million kilometers, right? So when you look at these numbers, what do you see? First, you talk about fifteen. Then we spoke about seventeen hundred. Then we spoke about fifteen thousand, and then we spoke about one fifty millions. So what happens as the number increases? We see that it becomes very difficult to represent big numbers. Like if I ask you to represent one fifty million kilometers in figures in in numbers, how would you represent? You need to write one five followed by seven zeros. So that's not a very convenient representation. Now you can even have numbers as big as maybe one five zero followed by fifteen zeros or seventeen zeros or even twenty zeros. So what do we do to kind of handle these kind of scenarios? So the concept of exponents, the concept of powers, makes the representation of bigger numbers easier. Now when I say bigger numbers, not only the bigger numbers, even the smaller numbers. For example, so these are all examples which are given to show the bigger distances. Now if I, if we talk about smaller sizes, for example, if I ask you the size of a cell. A cell is very, 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 very tiny. It's microscopic. You talk about the size of an electron. It is again very, very small. So, for very large numbers or very small numbers, the representation becomes easier with powers. Now, let's see that how exponent helps. Now, let's say that we have a number. Let's consider hundred. So how can we write hundred? So hundred can be very well written as ten multiplied by ten. We can write it like this. Okay, perfect. Now this can be written as ten to the power two. What does this mean? This means that ten is multiplied two times. So ten to the power two is that. That's what it means. Now you might say that okay, but writing ten into ten and ten to the power two both are equally convenient. So why do we need? To the power two. Well, in this case, it might sound like this didn't bring much difference. The concept of power, but as you move on to bigger numbers, for example, you talk about one thousand. So then it becomes ten into ten into ten. So one thousand is ten to the power three. If you talk about ten thousand, that becomes ten into ten into ten into ten. That is ten to the power four. Now, in similar way, if you talk about a number which has maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten zeros. So that number can be very well written as ten to the power ten. Now you tell me which is more convenient, writing this or writing this. So definitely, writing this is more convenient. So you see, 
that these are kind of easier representation of numbers. So especially when we deal with very big numbers or with very small numbers. So this type of representation is called the exponential form of representation. So these are called exponential form. So when you write any number to the power some other number, so that representation is exponential form. And how do we read this? We read this as 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 10 and so on. That represent the power to which a given number is to be raised. So exponents tell us how many times can we use the number in multiplication. Let's take an example. Let's say 2 to the power 4. So what is exponent? So this 2 to the power 4 is exponent. Why? Now, especially the, this number 4 is the exponent. Why? Because this number represents how many times can we use 2 in multiplication. So if, the, if your exponent is 4, that means you need to use 2 4 times in multiplication. So you will multiply 2 4 times. So here 2 is called the base and 4 is called the exponent or power. So sometimes we use the term power instead of exponent. So in similar way, you, you can think of multiple examples. You talk about 10 to the power 2. Here 2 is the exponent. It means that 10 should be used 2 times for multi during multiplication. You talk about 10 to the power 1. What does that mean? 10 has to be used only once. Now, if we talk about 10 to the power 0, what does that mean? That means that we are not going to use 10 even once for multiplication. So, your result would be 1. So, because you are not multiplying 10 even one time. So, 10 to the power 0 would be 1. So, in this fashion, uh, we can represent numbers, especially the bigger numbers and the smaller numbers as exponents or using powers of numbers. So let us look at this example. Now let's say that you have 1000 rupees, maybe in the form of some 10 rupees note. So you have some 1000 rupees. So different ways of representing it. So you have 1000 rupees. Now if you take one more bundle, now you have some 10,000 rupees. If you increase the amount more, you might even have a lakh increase the number more and you might even have 10 lakhs. So you see representing numbers with more zeros sometimes becomes inconvenient. Now if I suddenly show you this number and tell you how much is this, you actually need to count the number of zeros, units place, tens place, hundreds place and only then you'll be able to tell whether it is 1 lakh or 10 lakhs or 10,000. But instead of that, if we represent them like this, 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5, 10 to the power 6, so that becomes more convenient. So in this fashion, we can make use of exponents very conveniently. Now you might be thinking that till now, whatever examples I have considered, I have only been considering the bigger numbers, very big numbers. So how do we represent the smaller numbers? So basically when we talk about exponents, we can have two types of exponents or two categories of exponents, positive exponent and negative exponent. So positive exponent is this, these, all these exponents, the, those numbers where the power is a positive number like 2 to the power 4, 10 to the power 2, 10 to the power 1, 10 to the power 0. So these are all positive exponents. So positive exponents help us to represent larger numbers. But when it comes to smaller numbers, we deal with negative exponents. Something like this, 10 raised to the power minus 4, 10 to the power minus 1, 2 to the power minus 6, 7 to the power minus 15. So you see in all these examples, the exponent is a negative number. So this is called a negative exponent. And negative exponent is useful to handle smaller numbers or to represent very small numbers or smaller numbers. So you, we have already learned about exponents and power, especially the positive exponents in our previous class, in your class 7. So this time we will focus more on the negative exponent. So the next question is how do we read negative exponents? Like we know how to read positive exponents, but how about negative exponents? So let's look at some examples. So if you have 10 to the power minus 5, so this is to be read as 10 to the power minus 5. Similarly, if you have this 
how will you read this 10 to the power minus 2 yes this is 10 to the power minus 2 or you can read it as 10 raised to the power minus 2 how will you read this this is definitely 10 to the power minus 3 what is this 2 to the power minus 9 this is minus 15 raised to the power minus 4 Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.